Right, now I'm giving you a more kind of challenging if you compare it to the first example I looked at with you. Are we together? If you look at this equation, it looks more or less like a quadratic equation. It's actually a quadratic equation, but it comes in terms of cosine of t. If you replace cosine of t by x, you will get here x squared plus uh, 1 quarter x equal to 0, which is a quadratic equation. So your first step would be to sort out that quadratic nature of this equation. Then you say cos t brackets cos t plus 0, 0,25 equals to 0. When you get to that stage, everybody must remember that if you put a and b equal to 0, it means a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0. That's one thing you can never forget when you're dealing with this type of equation, quadratic equation, isn't it? That's, it? That's what tells you now to say cos t equals to 0 or cos t plus 1 quarter equals to 0. Now, when you solve these two equations, when you finish solving these two equations and find your t, using those reference angles, whatever you want to use, is the way you will solve this trigonometric equation given initial. All together. So, let's go. So, this one, I think this one is, is easy. I chose it easy so that we are quick to solve this thing. This one, if you look at the graph of cosine, for those who know it, it is going to start at 0 is equal to 1. goes down and we have a 0 at the half pi. We have the lowest point at pi. We have another 0 at 3 halves of pi. Then I have the highest point again at 2 pi. I hope everybody understands that, isn't it? This is half pi. And this is three halves of pi. So this one I can solve it almost with my eyes closed, only open for seeing that I'm right at the right place. <laughs> <laughs> Out together. Then I can say in the first in the from zero to two pi, the solutions are t equals to half pi or t equals to 3 pi over 2. That's the, the solution. If I want to give the general solution now, I can now say t equals to half pi plus 2k pi with k an integer. And then I can do the same for that one. All together. All together, guys. Good. Now, I think that is done. Can you move forward? Can you move forward? Okay. To move forward, let's maybe... Try to open some space here. Let's say... Now, we're dealing with cosine... T plus one quarter equals to zero. Subtracting on both sides or adding on both sides minus quarter, we get cos t equals to minus one quarter. Then we can go to our second. This is just a, an aiding circle just to help you visualize your solution so that when you get it you must make sure that your what you get as an answer and your visualization agree so that you can be comfortable that you are you are correct. So first of all you ask yourself where is cosine negative as a ratio? If I'm using the the the, what, the, the unit circle I would say the coordinate x on the unit circle on the circumference of the unit circle where is it negative? In the second and then Third quarter. Now, if I put minus one quarter somewhere there, minus one quarter there as a coordinate x, 
then I know the angles I'm talking about have their arms passing through that point and that point. Do you agree? Then if I want to picture them, I can then now say that that angle. Then another one. There. And then say that angle. Out together, guys. Okay. Now, notice that if I stretch this one this way, extend this line this way, uh, it doesn't look straight. I want to make it better, look better than that. More or less, isn't it? Then there, I can say I've got my T zero, isn't it? If I reflect this arm across, it will land exactly there. Then there, I've got my T zero again. Which means this angle I'm looking for here is pi minus T zero, isn't it? And the other one is actually pi here plus this T zero being vertically opposite to that one. Out there. That's the analysis I'm making before I play around with my calculator, isn't it? Now coming to calculations now, I'll say cos cos t0 equals to 0, 0,25 all together. Then call my second function cos At the beginning, I would like to see this thing so that I can see that people are really making that that principle of inverse sink in themselves. So then, then you get a T zero here. Then you get your calculator and uh, calculate this second function cos of zero point two five. What are you getting? Make sure that your calculator is mod radians. What are you getting there, guys? Come again. 1.318. Let's leave it there. Three decimal places. Let's say two. Two, three decimal places. So what are you talking about? We're talking about this angle, isn't it? But that's not the angle you want. We want that angle. So we're going to go there and subtract that. So now we can now write the final solution. Therefore, t equals to pi minus that 1.318. Then there you will be forced to, to write your numbers in, in decimal numbers, isn't it? Then depending what is asked for, whether it's four decimal places, two decimal places, you round accordingly. Then the other solution, O, t equals to this pi plus the T0 vertically opposite that T0, the reference angle, then which is what? 1, 318. Then we are done. That is between 0 and the 2 pi. I hope you remember what to do if you want to give the general solution, the infinite solution. Then you've got to use your K from the integers. Everybody is clear about that, isn't it? Okay. So you can see, guys, this type of equation is not like the very, very first one which I saw. So these are the type of equations you are going to challenge you. So you don't only go through just inverse function t is this. No, 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 no. You must first of all apply many other things to get your solution. So that you can see that you can organize your ideas to get a solution. Isn't it? That's the most important thing. That's what mathematics also trains you to do. To be able to organize your ideas, to strategize how to, to solve a problem. That experience, you can take it to an engineering problem, you can take it to a life situation problem, if it involves your grandmother. <laughs> Let's look at one more example, or maybe the last 
example. In this case, I would like to take Corsair again. We talked a lot about sign yesterday and the bit today, but now let's look at cost. Let's save this one. I know that when they see this one, they say, yo, then you just, and please avoid this thing of saying, yo, when you're looking at any problem. When you say, yo, <laughs> when you say that, yo, all the energy shows in your stomach or whatever just goes out. So you must hold on, look at it carefully, what does it involve? I'm not going to challenge you now and say factorize this thing, I've already factorized it, but I'm just giving you an example and uh, give me an idea what sometimes you should expect altogether. Actually, in this case here, this is a quadratic equation again, which could be read as x squared plus one quarter x minus one eighth in that. Because I've looked at it before, you can check it at home, whether I factorize correctly. I factorize this thing as cos t plus half, if I'm not mistaken, and the cos t minus one quarter, and that is equal to zero. I think it's correct, because if you check here, if you add these two, you get plus one quarter, isn't it? If you multiply these two, you get one eighth, isn't it? That is, if you know how to factorize, but I know, most cases people factorize by accident. <laughs> But if you really know how to factorize, the coefficient here, you can build it by, especially if the coefficient here is 1. The coefficient here is always the sum of these two. And the, the coefficient here is the product of that two. Isn't it? If you really don't know how to factorize, you factorize, you have always factorized by accident. You come to me, I will show you how to factorize it systematically without any accident. And you get the correct answer. Altogether. I'll show you if you want to, me to show you. When you want me to show you? <laughs> no, no, not now. Now we're busy with this equation. Okay. So now, let, what are we going to do here? Follow the same thing. A times B is equal to zero means A, which is cos T plus half equal to zero, or B, which is cos T minus one quarter equals to zero. Are we together, guys? Then, what are we going to do next? Then, I think what is left here now is what we saw in the first example. Isn't it? So, I think I can be comfortable to leave it for you to do it and finish up this exercise. I think that will be the immediate step which will follow from there. Isn't it? Then what follows next is to maybe want to use your reference angle, you want to use your graph, you can do that. And please solve this equation, let's say P for T between 0 and the 2 pi. The, and this condition will always be given, how to get it? That solve, if it if says say solve, then you might give the general solution using your case and the integers and so on, it's fine. But if it's restricted, follow the instruction, give the solution which is within this domain, then you are done. How to weather? Is there anything which I need to explain there further? Because I suppose from here, you can do what you did previously. What I wanted to show you is that just expect these types of equations, which are not just simple sign x is equal to half or something. Those are from matrix students. We're going to, if, you, if I gave such one, I'll send it to a secondary school in Africa. Are we together? Okay. I think for that, for that part, I'm going to stop there and say, here are the examples given. Guys, get to your book, to your comparison exercises, do more examples, and make sure that you become perfect in this respect. I think you remember they say practice next perfect thank you for listening